Welcome everybody. Thank you all so much for coming out tonight uh, to our annual VIP charity gala. I wanted to start out just by saying thanks for coming. Thank you so much for our sponsors. Without you guys, tonight wouldn't be possible. Uh, thank you RC and Chad for being our title sponsors. RC is our title sponsor tonight of the VIP Gala at Huntington Bank for the auto show. So thank you guys. I also want to thank all the dealers that came out. The Governor, President Carmichael, and Speaker Hanshaw. Let's give everybody a, hand of, a round of applause here. So for those that don't know me, I'm Jared Wyrick. I'm the new president of the West Virginia Auto Dealers Association. I'm going to hand this over to the, uh, the more experienced individual here, Brian Hughes. He's our MC for the evening. Once again, thanks everybody. Have a good time. Thank you so much, Sharon. First year with the uh, rain, and he's doing a great job, folks. Then we want to thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, at 7.30, uh, WWK, as we've done for the last uh, six years, we're going to have our live broadcast and give everybody at home a chance to look and see what they can enjoy here at the uh, auto show for the entire weekend. But first, we're going to get through a couple of things here. And R.C. Hazard, the United States Warranty and Protective Company, title sponsor for, to, for the VIP show tonight. R.C., how are you doing? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. How about you? Great. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is R.C. Hazard. I'm the District Sales Manager for Protective Asset Protection Division. I'd like to give a round of applause to all the dealers in the room because everybody needs to realize that the dealers in West Virginia are not only the pillars of the community, but they are the largest employers in some communities. They provide countless jobs to feed families around the county and the state. They provide taxes in the community, and they are also the largest private contributors to the local community. Round of applause for the car dealers. I'd also like to salute our governor because he and all of you are moving our great state of West Virginia into a new era, a new platform, relying on things that we can be resilient with and stride into the future. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 West Virginia International Auto Show. Thank you very much. Chad Brather, Huntington National Bank President, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. On behalf of my colleagues at Huntington, we want to welcome everyone also to the 2020 Auto Show. Uh, we're really happy to be a, a sponsor this year. I uh, want to thank the association, Jared, and his team. Each and every year, this program gets better and better. The show gets better and better. It's put on very admirably. Um, so round of applause for Jared and his team here for the job they're doing. I also want to thank them for bringing the show to Charleston every year. Uh, this is a great thing for the city. Uh, bring a lot of people from outside the area that contributes to the economy of Charleston. So thanks for, for what you guys do with this show. Um, I want to also uh, join RC in thanking the dealers. Uh, the dealers in every community that you serve, you're a, a pillar in that community, you're a leader in that community. You guys are, are always stepping up to help with charitable causes. Um, you know, so, so thanks in a very big way to every dealer in the room tonight for all that you do in the communities of West Virginia and what you do for the economy of West Virginia. Thanks so much. And as, you, uh, as you're looking around tonight, you find that nice new car, just make sure you let them know that Huntington Bank is open for business. We're ready to finance that for you. So thanks so much. You got my business. Uh, so uh, let's see here. Roger Anshaw, we'll go with you. Uh, speaker here. Thank you. Good evening. Folks, in small towns all across our state, 1.8 million people depend on local economies for their daily lives. And we have local businessmen and women who choose West Virginia to thank for that. We have all the, the family-owned organizations, the family-owned companies, the multi-generational companies who have chosen to do business in our state to thank for those jobs, to thank for those local contributions to our schools, to our hospitals, to all of the nonprofit organizations that make life in West Virginia better. We know that it's not always easy. We know that sometimes business in West Virginia can be challenging, but we thank you for the choice of West Virginia. We thank you for choosing to do business in our state. We thank you for choosing to locate your business here, to employ our citizens, and to support our local communities. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Senate President Mitch Carmichael. Well, thank you, Brian. I've lost my voice, and there's some people that are very happy about that at the legislature, but uh, I just want to say thank you for all that you do to help move West Virginia forward. We're a very appreciative legislature as well. I was here last year to help cut the ribbon and announced that we were going to pass the as-is bill, which you had advocated for in a great, uh, great strength. And so we were able to do that last year. And this year, I'm here to announce that we will protect franchise rights by not passing certain bills 
uh, that opened it up to us. So uh, we are very appreciative for all you do, so thank you so very much. I swear to God, do you have your voice? <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Jim Justice. All right, first of all, let me, let me just tell you a story real quick. This young man, decked out beyond belief, his name is Andrew, and I just met him. And this gentleman that's right over here, he said, Andrew, you need to come over there and everything to cut the ribbon. I said, Andrew, you go tell him I'm the governor and stay over here. So Andrew went over very bravely and, and delivered a message, but he's a great young man. I cannot ever tell you just this, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. You know our state's moving, and you know things are really happening, but I can tell you that there's an upside that you can't believe that's right around the horizon. That's not smoke and mirrors, it's real, real stuff. We're on our way, the stars are lining up. We've got a great president, a great speaker, we've got so many things that are right at our fingertips, and I can't ever thank you enough. 150 new car and truck dealers across our state, with an average employment of 47 point some odd people, the number that you impact beyond that is unreal. And the real truth is just this. Every ball team, every band, every everything comes to you first. You are the engines in our communities. You've been it forever. I can never thank you enough for being here. And Andrew, you stay with me, babe. We're gonna cut this ribbon, okay? God bless you. Thank you so much for having me. Governor, thank you very much. Governor Chip Justice. Okay, I know you guys want some cocktails and some nice uh, light food, so we've got to do something here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to cut the ribbon. So, on the uh, count of three, we'll do this here. One, two, three. The West Virginia Auto Show is now open. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. Enjoy your evening. <laughs>